you, you got to protect your, your kids nowadays because people are, are trying to get their hooks in early in the kids now. Early on, when Marcus, when I first started training him, I tried to keep him away from it completely because I knew he was going to be good, but I didn't want him growing up big-headed, so to speak. So just kept telling him, you're not there yet. Don't listen to what everybody's telling you because they'll have you so pumped up, you'll just go to whoever's saying something good to you. Eighth grade, seventh grade, sixth grade, all the way on down. They want to find them early and get them off onto their own plan. And I had a plan too. It was simple plan. It was, we gonna be in the gym more than anybody. We focused on that while everybody else was looking at the rankings. And we was like, we gonna be in the gym more than whoever's ranked. We gonna cheer for them, we gonna support them. I want to teach them the right way, you know. I want them to be a team player. And I, I want them to be a good person. So when they see the wrong way, they got a choice. Hey, I can do that, or I can stay on this path that I've been on. He's special though, Mark is special, because he can have a, a terrible attitude and really let all this hype go to his head. Mark is easy, man. He's the easiest kid in the world. And I'm not saying because he's my son, he's just easy.